Hey guys, MD here, Outdoor Reviews, uh, with another DIY. This is to make an uh, electro etcher for any type of etching you want to do on uh, metal with uh, the salt water technique. Uh, this is just a quick way you can do it with uh, an old 9 volt battery, a new 9 uh, volt battery, and two gator clips with wires. And the only tool you're really going to need is a razor blade and a soldering iron to solder the wires onto the back side of the clip. So let me show you how you're going to make this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have your uh, your bad 9 volt battery and you're going to need to remove the wrapping from it and you can do that just by kind of pulling this apart and getting in there with the, the a razor blade and pulling the, the cover off. And once you get the cover off you're just going to take the plug off. So let me go ahead and cut this off and I'll show you what you guys are going to do with the top. So what you want to get out of it is just this little top piece off of your dead battery. That's why you don't use a good one because you don't want to waste it. This is just something you can use to make a, a plug. And what you're going to do is you're going to solder these wires here for your positive and negative uh, gator clamps to the back side of this, of the, of the old top. And you need to remember on the, the good battery, the small side is positive and the large side is negative. So it's going to be the opposite on the old one because it's going to be snapping into place as a cover as you can see like that. So let's go ahead and solder the wires on there and I'll bring you back. Now that you have this attached, um, all you have to do is just hook it up to your new battery uh, like a plug that you would use, uh, any type of plug snap it in place like so and I'm not going to go through the whole steps of how you electro etch because if you're watching this you probably know what that is um, but of course you're going to ground it with the where well, you're going to attach your positive to the item that you're going to etch <clears throat> you can take uh, salt water and a q-tip like so and just dip it in there um, this is by no means uh, precise because you want to use the ink methods of apple applying it on there we're taping it off but I'm just going to show you guys how it does work and you can barely hear a sizzle this isn't strong because it's only a 9 volt battery you can hook these up to car chargers and do this the same method but I can hear it burning in there right now and it is making a mark but it works and you can put your logo into a knife that you're using or any other stuff that you want to etch with metal um, but as you can see it burns it salt water q-tip and I'm a better and then pretty simple yeah I can hear it burning but yeah, so whatever you, whatever's not, what's, the only things that are exposed to the salt water and the Q-tip is what's going to burn. So that's why there's methods of uh, applying like uh, printer paper onto catalog, like the shiny catalog pages into a mirror and then ironing it onto there and the, the ink will stay on here. And then you just burn over top of that and any of the exposed white areas is what's going to uh, uh, etch on there. But as you can see right there. That's what happens with that. I take that off and I'll wipe it and you can see it's burned on there. And a bunch of applications like that and you can, uh, it'll actually put like, it'll engrave it into there too or etch it in there. But it leaves a little burn mark as well but you can take that off with the uh, rubbing alcohol or sandpaper or acetone, something like that. And uh, after a period of time of doing that over and over and over again, you'll be able to see your logo or whatever mark you wanted to keep. So. Just a simple little uh, electro etcher. Uh, it requires a couple tools, but a lot of people have these around their house and it's something easy. So thanks for watching. As always, get your families outdoors and I'll catch you next time.